No one enjoys the negative effects aging can have on our bodies and minds. It's a real drag and most of us feel the aches and pains associated with aging and become less active, less fit and, let's face it, less fun to be around. This is compounded by the fact that our brains can also slow down. Our cognitive function weakens and we are increasingly at risk for dementia. Life can get frustrating and boy can that make us crabby. No one ever intends to become a crabby older person, but some days it can feel like you're on that path. But believe it or not, there is a very simple solution. That solution is being active. And by being physically active regularly, we can actually slow down and possibly prevent many of the negative effects of aging. Benefits of exercise include everything from improving our sleep, reducing our risk for many medical conditions and improving our overall mood and outlook. Of course, there are all sorts of ways to exercise. Cardiovascular or aerobic exercise, resistance training, balance exercise and flexibility exercise. The type of exercise most recommended for seniors by health professionals is cardiovascular exercise. While there are many benefits of cardiovascular exercise, it is especially important for older adults to also take up other types of training. In particular, progressive resistance training can play a very important role in the health of older adults. Progressive resistance training is when you build up strength in your muscles by gradually increasing the amount of weight you can handle. It can be done in a gym with exercise equipment or with free weights. Researchers have found that progressive resistance training has a whole range of benefits for seniors. For example, it moderates the development of sarcopenia or age-related loss in muscle mass and strength, something that cardiovascular exercise does not do. This greatly reduces the risk of falls and fractures and can maintain or improve overall mobility. Even more exciting, Recent evidence now also suggests that progressive resistance training has specific benefit for both cognitive and brain function in older adults. A University of British Columbia study of seniors found that after one year of doing a progressive resistance training program twice a week, the participants in the study had marked improvement in their cognitive ability. Specifically, they scored up to 13% higher in tests related to decision making. Resistance training also improves the function of brain areas that support decision-making. Imagine, you could get better at making important decisions. This is likely because weight training increases your body's level of what are called growth factors. Growth factors are responsible for cellular growth, proliferation and differentiation. Some specific growth factors have significant benefit for the brain. They promote neuron growth, differentiation and survival. Also, learning a new skill and being healthier improves your quality of life and confidence. So, let's go through the steps for a simple progressive resistance training program. The muscle groups you want to hit for maximum benefit are your core, upper back, lower body muscles and shoulders and arms. It is important to warm up before starting. Spend about 10 minutes doing some easy rhythmic movements and dynamic stretching. You can add some music to make it fun. There are a lot of exercises you can do, even if you do not have gym equipment handy. We'll begin by showing you a simple exercise you can do at home. Simple squats are a great way to start. This exercise is an easy way to work your quads, hamstrings and glutes. And we recommend that you always use a trainer to get started to make sure you have proper form. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Keep your spine neutral and your core contracted. Slowly on a two second out, two second in motion, squat down about one third of the way to the floor and slowly return to start. Keep your knees aligned with your feet. Your knees should never go past your toes. Do eight repetitions for two sets with a nice little break in the middle. Now it's not too difficult to retain your balance with this exercise, but you can consider doing it against a wall and add a stability ball behind your lower or mid spine to help. You can always add a backpack or hold onto free weights or soup cans once you've mastered this and are ready for more of a challenge. 
Another way to exercise similar muscles to the squat is the leg press machine. If you have poor balance, this is a great option. To set the right weight, find a load that you can lift between six to eight times with proper form. Make sure that you've set enough weight that you can feel like you should rest after about eight reps. We'll do two sets. Sit on the machine so you have about 90 degrees in your bent knees. Keep your feet higher, but in full contact with the leg platform. Make sure your feet, knees and hips are aligned. Keep control of the weights on the way back. You may need a rolled up towel or pillow in the small of your back. Make sure not to lock your knees on extension or arch your lower back or let your inner thighs roll in towards each other. Just like the squats, the leg press works your core and your leg muscles, both key muscle groups for staying physically able as you age. After the first eight repetitions, take a little break and do another set. Great work. Another great way to work your legs is the reverse lunge. It works your glutes, calves, hamstrings and quads. Stand with your feet hip width apart, standing tall with your core engaged and a forward gaze. Take a slow, controlled lunge backwards with one leg, keeping feet hip width apart, and slowly lower your hips so that your forward thigh becomes parallel to the floor. Hold for one or two seconds, then return up in a slow and controlled fashion. Step forward to the start position and repeat with opposite leg. Always keep your knees aligned with your feet. Your knees should never go past your toes. Continue to do this eight times, then take a break and do eight more, four per side. You can always add weight to this with a backpack or free weights in your hands. Now, if this exercise is difficult for you to maintain balance and form, ask your trainer about trying the hamstring curl machine. Good work. Now let's do some upper body work. A standing row exercise with just a resistance band is a great way to start. This works the latissimus dorsi and upper back and shoulder muscles. Stand with your knees slightly bent, neutral spine, core contracted, chest lifted, shoulders back, neck neutral, ears above shoulders, gaze forward. Pull the resistance band back with your elbows at 90 degrees and make sure not to shrug your shoulders. Release the band in a controlled manner back to the starting position. Do this for eight repetitions and then rest and do another set. Wow, how's that feel? And you can also do an exercise like this with the lateral pull machine. Again, determine a good weight that you can handle for eight reps before requiring a rest. And just like everything else, we're going to do eight repetitions in two sets. Adjust the seat height so that you are seated with your feet flat on the ground. Adjust the thigh pads so that they're resting lightly on top of your thighs. And if you can't reach the handles, you can stand to grab them and pull them down while you sit. It is extremely important to keep your spine neutral and your chin tucked in. And pull in your core muscles to protect your precious spine. Pull the bar down to the front of your forehead. And do the motion slowly. Breathe in and then out on pullback. Avoid arching your lower back, shrugging your shoulders when you pull down, locking your elbows, poking your chin forward, or jamming the handles down. This exercise works your arms, shoulders and upper back muscles. And these muscle groups are important for maintaining strength for daily tasks and good posture. Complete the first set of eight, rest, and then do a second set. Amazing. Once you've finished all three exercises, you can cool down. Now cool down by doing some static stretches for your major muscle groups. Hold the stretches for 30 to 45 seconds. Under proper training conditions, the muscle will become tired and feel weaker after the workout. And this pain, weakness, tenderness or aching appears after you've used your muscles in a new way. The pain generally appears anywhere from the same day to three days later. And doctors call this condition delayed onset muscle soreness. And it's a normal response. There's no reason to stop being active if the pain goes away after a few days. The muscle recovers, grows stronger for your next training session. Now, if you experience a sharp pain in your muscle, you may have strained it, and you should check in with a health professional. So that's it. 
Now you're ready to face the world. Once you can complete these three exercises, you can always talk to your trainer or physiotherapist about adding more. You'll probably make great friends at the gym and it will be something you look forward to. So, if you want to look and feel better, improve your overall health and keep your brain sharp, you should walk into a gym, talk to a trainer or physiotherapist or share this video with your doctor. Progressive resistance training will help keep you strong so you can do important things like climb stairs or step into the tub. Share this video with a friend or your partner and together we can improve the health and well-being of seniors everywhere. Health professionals agree that older adults should do about 20 to 30 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity every day. Make one or two of these days your resistance training day. You'll be sharper, more fun to hang out with and quite simply, life will get a whole lot better. What's stopping you?